Hello, my name is Shane. I'm with the RL Debit Company. And I'm going to show you how to do a straight edge alignment on a base mounted pump. You can see on this pump here, the motor is sitting high. So we got to lower the motor using shims. If your pump is out of alignment, you may have couplers that look like this. They will wear. You'll have a bunch of black rubber shavings underneath your pump. And that's just telling you that your pump is out of alignment. As you can see here, our horizontal alignment is off as well. So I check both sides. You can see we got to move the motor. So we're going to loosen up the motor and start shimming and moving the motor around. When doing alignment, you always want to use your shims under the motor. You don't want to shim up around the saddle. Um, you always want to do it all right at the motor. Now that I got my motor bolts all loose, I'm going to uh, remove some shims here because our motor was sitting high. And when doing this, you want to do all four feet the same. I tightened down my motor and I'm going to take another measurement here on the vertical. And I can see now my motor is sitting just a hair low, so I'm going to want to add some more shims under the motor. I'm going to add ten thousandths to each um, foot of the motor here, just to raise it up a little bit. But I added ten thousandths to each foot of the motor. I'm going to take another measurement. And to me, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to check my horizontal uh, side to side and adjust that as needed. And now I'm going to check my uh, horizontal alignments. It looks like the motor's got to move just a hair. So I'm going to use just a rubber mallet just to move it. It don't take much. Vertical and horizontal alignment um, all set. I'm going to tighten down the motor going in a cross pattern. I'm going to start with the back foot and go over to this front foot here. Okay, now that I got that all tight, I'm going to double check the alignment. Now that I got the motor all tight down, I'm double checking my alignment. Checking the horizontal on both sides here. Looks good. Check my vertical alignment. Top and bottom. That looks good as well. So my alignment is complete. My alignment is complete. I'm going to properly space this coupler. Uh, the reason for that is these will swell uh, once they get running and get warm. So you just want to back it off a touch. You don't want to squeeze these all the way together. You want to have um, room so these can move back and forth and breathe. So I'm going to tighten that back up. It should be good. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions regarding pump alignment, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.